Computer room air conditioning deals with monitoring and maintaining temperature, humidity, and air distribution in data centers and server rooms. We usually call computer room air conditioning systems CRAC for short. It is also known as precision air conditioning or close control air conditioning. CRAC systems are not for comfort air conditioning. Recall that comfort air conditioning is used to create comfortable temperatures for people. CRAC systems have better air filtration, higher airflow, and better humidity control mechanisms than the standard air conditioning systems. Two factors can affect the operations in the data center and server rooms. They are two H's. The two H's that can hurt computer operations are heat and humidity. Let us understand the importance of these in the CRAC systems. For example, in March 2013, a portion of the Microsoft company's servers suffered from heat spike. It caused Hotmail and Outlook.com to be offline for 16 hours. Recall that humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air. The data centers and server rooms should be maintained between 40% and 60% RH. Low humidity tends to result in a higher risk of static electricity buildup. It can lead to static electric discharge in the computer room. A sudden flow of electrons from one charged object to another is called static electric discharge. In extreme humidity conditions, water vapor can condense. As data centers and server rooms are completely occupied by electronic circuits and connections, water can accumulate on them. This can corrode the equipment or can cause short circuits that could result in the loss of data and even damage the computer components. The main components of the CRAC system are air filters, cooling coils, AC fans, humidifiers, and dehumidifiers. Let us look into each of the components in detail. Dust particles in the air is harmful as heat or humidity in the computer room. Accumulation of dust particles on the computer room equipment leads to equipment malfunctions. Dust particles even could lead to a fire. All CRAC systems contain high-quality air filters to clean air in a computer room. Recall that the air filter traps dust particles and debris from the air. We generally use HEPA filters in CRAC systems. Recall that HEPA means high-efficiency particulate air. Recall that the cooling coil is used to cool and dehumidify the air. The cooling coil in the CRAC system can be direct expansion type, chilled water type, and dual type. In the direct expansion type CRAC, the cooling coil is also called the evaporator. The refrigerant flows through the cooling coil in this system. In the chilled water type CRAC, the cooling coil is connected to a chiller system. The cold water flows through the cooling coil in this system. A chiller circulates the cold water to the cooling coil of the computer room air conditioner. Recall that a chiller system is a machine that is used to produce cold water. In some CRAC systems, both chilled water and direction expansion cooling coils are present. These systems are called dual-type CRAC systems. Any one of the cooling coils works, and the other is standby, or both the cooling coils work to give cooling. Recall that commercial HVAC systems usually have belt-driven blowers with induction motors. They take up a significant amount of space in the system, which makes installation complicated. Moreover, belt-driven blowers need replacement and maintenance due to wearing parts. In view of these factors, EC motors are a greater alternative. We generally use EC motor fans in the computer room air conditioning system. EC fans are designed to run on an AC power supply. These use permanent magnets to generate magnetic fields. These are highly efficient, produce less heat, have low running costs, and have a long lifespan. These do not make much noise during operation. Hot and cold aisles is a design layout for the data centers where servers and computers are kept, and data is stored. The purpose of the hot and cold aisles is to manage airflow in the data centers to lower energy consumption and to increase efficiency.
Cold aisle containment is a popular choice for existing data centers. This is because it is easy and cheap to install compared to hot aisle containment. Hot aisle containment costs more to install. This containment requires more hide. So it is best suited for a new building. Old buildings may not have sufficient height to install. Hot aisle containment provides superior performance. Recall that HVAC control systems are used to control the operations of HVAC equipment. Control systems use a small amount of control voltage to control larger voltage connected equipment. Remember that control voltages are usually 24 volts DC. Some of the sensors that we find in CRAC systems are temperature sensors, humidity sensors, pressure sensors, smoke sensors, contact sensors, and water sensors. We'll learn about these sensors in detail. Most CRAC systems have an electronic control board that receives signals from these sensors and controls different components. Temperature sensors are installed in CRAC systems to detect the temperature of the air. Temperature sensors send control signals to a system to control the flow of water or refrigerant and cooling coils. They can also control the speed of blowers in a CRAC system. We install humidity sensors in CRAC systems to detect the moisture content of the air. They send signals to a CRAC system to control the humidity. They also control the operation of humidifiers or dehumidifiers if a CRAC has them. We install pressure sensors in CRAC systems to detect the pressure of air. Blower speed increases or decreases depending on the input given by a pressure sensor. They tell us if air filters are dirty or clean. Recall that dirty air filters will not allow air to pass through them easily. Smoke sensors detect smoke as the primary indication of fire. They provide a signal to the fire alarm system or produce an audible and visual alarm. Properly installed and maintained smoke sensors play a vital role in reducing fire accidents. Contact sensors are also known as position sensors or status sensors. They tell whether a door or window is open or closed. These sensors come in two pieces. One is fixed to door or window. Another is fixed to its frame. Water sensors are installed under the racks to detect water leaks. These detect the presence of water where water should not be present, a leak. These provide an alert in case of water leakage so that we can act quickly to prevent further damage. HVAC control systems are used to control the operations of HVAC equipment. Some of the sensors that we find in CRAC systems are temperature sensors, humidity sensors, pressure sensors, smoke sensors, contact sensors, and water sensors.